possibility. I just don't understand, and I don't mean to, I don't mean to shit on Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, but I just don't understand this idea because he tweeted out the other day. Could you imagine uh, why another civilization would give a crap about us? And I just, I don't, I don't understand that way of thinking because, you know, if you're a scientist and you're getting off planet Earth and you're going out into the universe to explore. It doesn't any form of life attract you? Isn't that why we're going to Mars? Isn't that why we're expanding our reaches around our own solar system? Because we're interested in potential other life forms? We are potential other life forms. Why wouldn't they be interested in us? Well, they will not be interested in his tweet. Makes his move. Oh, wow. That I can guarantee. <laughs> because if they care about uh, intelligent species, this is not an intelligent tweet. Now, if we want to gain their uh, attention, we should behave intelligently. I mean, we can behave non-intelligently like we had over human history. And the way I, I, I was asked, how do you define an intelligent culture? The way I define it is a culture or a species that follows the guiding principles of science, which are uh, sharing evidence-based knowledge. Now, what Neil deGrasse Tyson is doing is not sharing evidence-based knowledge. He may argue that that's his opinion, but opinions do not matter in this business. You need to collect evidence. Now, if you are not aiming to collect the evidence because you have a prejudice, because you have a notion of... My, you, you are just playing lazy. You are saying, right. I don't need to get the evidence. It's just like the philosophers during the days of Galileo. I don't need to look through the telescope. 